Hello and you're very welcome to this video on Banking for a Junior Cycle Business based on a learning outcome 1.8. So in this video, what we're going to learn about is what exchange rates are and we're going to learn how to calculate exchange rates for a variety of currencies. So firstly, what on earth do we mean by an exchange rate? Well, pause the video there now and when you're ready, press jot out a few ideas, I should say, and press play to continue when you're ready to continue on. So what is an exchange rate? Well, exchange rate, folks, is the, by definition, is the quantity of a foreign currency that can be bought or sold in exchange for another currency. In other words, what an exchange rate is, is basically when you, if we're living here in Ireland, where I'm from, well, hey, uh, we will use the euro. And if you're going to England, say, for example, where they use the pound sterling, I can't use my euro over in England. And likewise, an English person can't use their pound sterling over in Ireland. So if I'm going on a trip to England, I need to change my currency from euros into pound sterling. How do we know what the value of the euro versus the pound sterling is? Because it's not one euro equals one pound sterling. Well, that's where our exchange rate comes in. So I'll pop down to the bank or the foreign exchange office and I'll swap my currency for whatever the rate is on the day. And those rates can change on a daily basis depending on what's happening in the economy and the stock exchange. But that's beyond the scope of this course. So let's get into a sample question as to how we actually calculate the exchange rate. We're looking at sample question one with Fred. And our friend Fred, he wants to buy 450 euro of American dollars. The bank are offering the following exchange rate. So it says we buy 160 American dollars and we sell 140 American dollars. Now, what on earth does that mean? What that means is the bank will buy American dollars off you for what for they'll buy give you one euro for every one dollar sixty of American dollars you give them. So the bank are buying the dollars off you and giving euro in return, and they'll do it at a rate of one dollar sixty for each euro. The we sell rate is if I've got euros and I want to buy dollars. So they're selling American dollars at a rate of 140 per euro, okay? So the key thing here is this is always per one euro. And the way it's looked at it is always from the perspective of the bank. So the bank will buy the currency there of American dollars for 160 per euro, and the bank will sell American dollars at a rate of 140 for a euro. So in this case here, um, Fred has euro and wants dollars. So we're going to use the sell rate, okay? Because the bank, he has the foreign currency of euros, he wants dollars, so the bank are gonna sell him dollars. So we're gonna take his 450 euro, we're gonna multiply it by the 1.4 the bank are selling it for, and we're gonna get a total of $630, okay? Pause the video there and make sure you fully grasp that. If any questions, ask below in the comments. Now look at sample question two. In this case, we've got Tom. Tom has 350,000 Japanese yen, and the bank will follow the ex following exchange rate. We buy 140 Japanese yen, and we sell 130 Japanese yen. What does that table mean? Pause the video there and see if you can figure it out. So what the table means is that they are going to, if, if you have Japanese yen, they'll buy, the bank will buy it off you at a rate of 140 yen per euro. And if you have euro and want yen, they will sell you yen at a rate of 130 yen for one euro. So let's get on to the question. Where is Thomas's 350,000 Japanese yen and he wants to get his euro? What is he going to do? Is it the we buy or the we sell rate? Yes, of course, it is indeed the buy rate, okay? Because the bank are buying the yen off Tom and giving him euro in return. So we take the 350,000 and we divide that by the buy rate of 140 and we come to a total of 2,500 euro. And you can do that in your calculator. Pause the video there, just make sure you fully grasp that slide and press play when you're ready to move on. Because that, now guys, the rule for these is quite simple. If you're converting from euro, we multiply the we sell figure. If you're converting to euro, divide the we buy figure, okay? So that is your golden rule for, cur uh, for currency conversion, okay? Converting from euro, multiply the, sell, uh, the we sell figure, and if you're converting to euro, divide the we buy figure. That's your golden rule there in this. So folks, that brings us to the end of today's video where you learned what exchange rates are and how to calculate exchange rates with a variety of different currencies. If any questions, ask below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and of course, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video, folks. Bye.